Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie and today is the start of a new vlog. So, it's Wednesday today, yesterday, Monday and... Uh, Monday and Tuesday, uh, James and I were away, so that's like a whole separate vlog which will go up this Sunday, hopefully, if I get it edited, edited in time. So for the rest of the week, um, I've got nothing to do, it's great, I can't wait. So I decided that I'm going to sort of clean the house um, and sort of gut a bunch of rooms that are just doing my head in. So that's what this is going to be, it's going to be like a bit of reading and a bit of cleaning and just sort of a really relaxed sort of vlog. But to start with, I've had a delivery from the Tea Time bookshop. So I've already like ripped it open. Right. It was a heavy box. So just a super quick word about the Tea Time Bookshop. So the Tea Time Bookshop is a monthly book subscription box that you can that use pre-loved books. You can also have an option of using like new books. You get the choice between tea, coffee, and hot chocolate in your box. You can have biscuits or no biscuits, or you can, there's a gluten-free option for biscuits as well. You, there's a whole load of genres. You can pick a crime box, a current affairs box, historical romance. You know. Um, or there's also options for children's from certain age groups. There's also recently been introduced a young adult box. I get the surprise me box because I like quite a range of different genres and I get a different thing every month. I also chose the hot chocolate and the biscuit options. Every box comes with a bookmark and a, and a postcard. The Tea Time Bookshop is also dedicated to you know, helping the environment, all their books, if you have pre-loved are obviously like recycled books. They have equal packaging. This is just, I don't know if you can see this. So I'll show you the inside. So this is what it says on the inside. They're dedicated to replanting trees. They use recycled books and their packaging is reduced to like just, this is literally the box that you get and like a cover to pack it, to stop it from moving about. That's all it is. So it's just cardboard. It's all recyclable. And it's great. So in my box I choose hot chocolate. Oh, this is this is Galaxy hot chocolate. Well, oh, I think I had Galaxy before. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says just add water. I seem to remember adding water and it was it was horrible with water. So don't add water, add milk. I I also got some oh chocolate cookies borders can't go wrong with a board can't go wrong with a borders biscuit they look super good oh yay okay okay so this is the october bookmark and postcard it's got a pumpkin oh i don't know why i put my hand on it there you can't see it it's got a pumpkin on it it's so cute and then on the back another pumpkin and then writing I'm going to try and read this backwards. So it says read. So read is relax, excite. Oh. Awaken and delight. I can do it. I can do it. Uh, so, oh, that's so cute with the little pumpkins. That's so cute. And then the postcard is a quote from the Great Gatsby. And it says, life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. That's that's so pretty. The colours are so gorgeous. Love it. That's really nice. So, the only other thing I have in here is my books. When you order, you can choose between one, two and four books, I believe. You can choose to pay monthly or you can choose a 3, 6 or 12 month subscription when you order. I pay for mine monthly because I, I've i referred so many people. I have like loads of referral codes so I do it manually each month. I get two books. So my two books in the Surprise Me box with hot chocolate and biscuits is ten ninety nine a month. So it's, it's super good. So the first book out is Snake Skins. Snake Skins by... Tim Mayer. I'm just going to read you the synopsis off the back. So Caitlin Hex's first shedding ceremony is imminent, but she's far from prepared to produce a snakeskin clone. 
When her skin fails to turn to dust as expected, she must decide whether she wishes the newcomer alive or dead. The Hex family may be of central importance to the survival of charmers, people with the inexplicable power to produce duplicates every seven years. In parallel with reporter Jerry Chaffick and government aide Russell Handler, Caitlin must prevent the Great British Prosperity Party from establishing a corrupt new world order. So it's a science fiction thriller. That's a weird cover. I kind of like it, but it's also very, very weird. So that looks quite good. And I have... I'm, I'm going to say this person, this author's name wrong, so I can only apologise. Is Sharks in the Time of Saviours by... Kawhi Strong Washburn. I'm so sorry if I've said that wrong. I can only apologise. Oh, there, okay. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of wrong pronunciations here. I apologies in advance. In 1995, in Kilua Kona, Hawaii, seven year old Nenoa Flores is saved from drowning by a shiver of sharks. His family struggling to make ends meet amidst the collapse of the sugarcane industry hails his rescue as a sign of favour from ancient Hawaiian gods. But as time passes, this hope gives way to economic realities, forcing Nino Ninoa and his siblings to seek salvation across the continental United States, leaving behind home and family. With a profound, profound command of language, Washburn's powerful debut novel examines what it means to be both of a place and a stranger in it. That looks really good. But that looks really good. So, where's the, where did I put the other book? What was here? So, two really interesting looking books. This one I'm not quite so sure about. It looks, sounds a bit weird, but... Also, it sounds really good, but this one looks really good as well. So that is it for a quick unboxing. So, like I said, today I am going to sort of start gutting things. Tomorrow I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to relax and watch some anime tomorrow, I think. But today I want to actually like, get something done. I know it's my first day of my holiday, but I can't relax today because my neighbours woke me up at, I don't know, like nine o'clock having windows fitted. And it was very loud. And they've been drilling and hammering. They must have stopped for lunch just now, I don't know. Um, but they've been drilling and hammering away since 9 o'clock this morning. And I wasn't impressed. So I can't really like just relax and do nothing today. So instead, I am going to clear my desk. My desk, I sit at it every single day. And it gets super messy. And I just want to like gut it. Like just the top. I'm not going to go through all my drawers because there's a load of crap in there that I just don't need but I do want to just sort the top of it so it's a bit more organised, it's a bit clear so it's not cluttered and I think that will help me sort of with... I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that will help me with um, productivity, like clear desk, like that's not weird saying, cluttered desk, cluttered mind sort of thing, so we'll give that a go. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go and I'm going to take you down and we're going to clear my desk. Thank you. 
Hello, it's Friday. We're going to actively ignore the hair. If that, that'd be good if you could do that. Um, so, yesterday James and I just sort of chilled out. We literally just sat and watched anime all day, it was great. So again, also please ignore the state of the living room. It's been very much, we've very much been living in the living room in the last few days. Um, so, I'm just about to start like gutting stuff, but I don't know where to start. Because we could start in the living room, which would make sense because it's the room we're in the most. But we've got decisions to make, you see, because do you see, right, okay, do you see, right, we've got one, we've got a TV table there, two, three, four, ignore the state of that, four, five, and six tables in this room. We've got, plus we've got this little table and then like a little bookcase over here as well. So we've got eight surfaces in this room that aren't shelves. Plus like the piano, but I'm not counting the piano. Which is too many. It's just too many. And there's not a lot of space like this is all the space we really have in the living room. So I suggested that one of the coffee tables be moved upstairs to be used as like a sort of makeup table in the back bedroom. But do we move this one upstairs, which like this opens out, like the top opens up. So there's more storage, there's storage underneath it. So that'd be good for like makeup and that. Or do we move this one, which is super cute and it's like all like got like a nice little tarnish on it because it's, well, it's been used. Um, which doesn't only has those like two little drawers of storage, but it's smaller. But it's also where we put our shoes. If you can hear that weird noise, it's Millie eating her breakfast. So do we move this one up and put it, like leave it there and then put this one upstairs? Or do we put this one upstairs and then move this one to the corner? So then that opens up the floor a bit. And then like when the dreaded C word comes, we can move the table back and put the tree in the corner.
Around your arms instead of being lonely, we could be gazing at the stars. But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. I should be trying something new, but now my body's aching. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark. It's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing. Mm, mm, mm. It should have been you. Another time, another place. I just know. I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself. I never knew how much I needed you. Mm-hmm. It should have been. I just don't know what to do. 'Cause it should've been you. 
Saturday so I'm gonna end the vlog here sorry it was just like a lot of cleaning this week um but I was going to take you we were gonna go into town today and I was gonna take you there but uh, we're not going now because I've hurt my back I think I've just pushed it too much and like my fibers gone well you know what's gonna happen now don't you and I'm like, so yeah but anyway so I hope you enjoyed our like gutting video I suppose like we've got the kitchen done we've got under the stairs done I didn't really show you a before of under the stairs um but I showed you like a, a now of under the stairs and it looks amazing James did really, really amazing with that we did the living room we've done the back bedroom and we're going to save the attic for another weekend because it's just such a big job but that's it that is our living space tidy and I feel so much better for it you know, like I just feel like when you walk into a room it's like ah it's so tidy and it's good to do that I think every once in a while to just like rearrange gut stuff I chuck stuff out you don't need you know just sort of sort it out especially like see the back bedroom how many times have I done a video facing my wardrobe and I've been like don't don't look over here don't 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 look in that corner and now there's still stuff there but it's it's tidy and it's no got clothes there, no obviously I've still got the bag of um like the jumpers, but I'm gonna leave that there until like the end of winter because we really need another chest of drawers. Um because we've got we've just not got enough space for two people's clothes. We've got this chest of drawers and we've got the wardrobe and that's it. Um but yeah, so I'm going to go there. I'm gonna edit this video and it'll be up on Tuesday, hopefully. And tomorrow we're meant to be going out, it depends on my back, it depends on the weather, but if we are, I will take you with me, so that will be another mini vlogette, which will be awesome. And that's it. So I will see you next time. So that's it guys. So until next time, stay safe, take care, look after yourselves, and I will see you later. Mwah.